free to succeed. Raid Shadow Legends. I better not be sick edition. I know that. I know that much, dude. Woke up and my nose was stopped up. I ain't into that. I ain't into that right now. I'll tell you that much. Um, I can still taste and smell. That's a good thing. All right, what are we doing? What, what, what we're doing today is we're hoping some sacreds drop from Clan Boss. Clan Boss, because I want to. I want. I want to pull a Glizzy. Okay. That's what, I, that's what I want to happen today. So, I need to never see another chest that looks like this again, first of all. Because that's just absolutely insane. Okay, well. Okay. I'm so glad I'm hitting Nightmare every day. There's a Sacred. We only need one. We only need one, baby. And an Ancient. Those ain't so bad. I'll, I'll use those. I'll figure out a way to use those. All right, we got a sacred. I mean, I think we're going to have to pop it, dude. Because I, I, I want to get her. You understand? We did our Doom Tower last night, right? Yes. And we still have the... I have not been doing much champ training. I've been trying to make sure I finish this spider mission. That's my clan quest. Um, before I, I start really focusing leveling up food, which is obviously hindering my progress a bit, but... I picked that mission. I've got to do it. You know what I mean? It wasn't. It wasn't assigned to me randomly. I chose it. I can't choose it and just decide not to do it. What kind of clan leader would I be? You know what I'm saying? We are bringing Fane up slowly, though. We'll we'll sneak a few levels in on her every now and then. So she's almost at 50. We, we're we're I think more than ready, close to being ready to six star. We've got a few five star chickens, I believe. We've got three five-star chickens, and we've got plenty of... I don't know if we have plenty. We have quite a few four-stars maxed and ready to be turned into food. And then a few more on their way. And then a few three-stars. So it's like we're, we're, we're in pretty good shape to six-star Fane. I want to get in good shape to six-star more, though. So that's what we're trying to do. But again, I've got to finish the spider mission before I do that, so... Thanks to everybody that hung out in the stream yesterday. We streamed for like over seven hours. It's the longest stream I think I've, I've done since I started playing Raid. I used to stream eight hours a day way back in the day before Raid. And then uh, I've done a couple of 12 hour streams, but I think that's the longest string, stream I've ever done. Longest Strang? I think I was gonna say Strang. Longest stream I've done since I've been playing Raid. And it was fun, man. Appreciate everybody hanging out. Let's go ahead today. Look at the silver, dude. We, th that's one nice thing about doing this spider mission and not doing much else is the silver's just getting up there, dude. It's wonderful. Our gems are getting are back up over a thousand comfortably. Things are looking good. We depleted ourselves pretty pretty good on that last fusion, but we're getting there. It only takes one, baby. It only takes one, baby. Let's do it. Come on, man. Dang it. Is she new at least? If she's new, that's a fantastic pull, man. Melga, Melga's a really, really good champ. She's really, really good. We are so squared away on dwarves now for, for faction wars once we get around to building them. I mean, we, we've got... Shoot, we just about got the whole squad. Except Legos. We just about got the whole squad here. I love this champ. I might do a guide on him. Actually, I think he's a really, really good champ, and I don't hear very many people talking about him. Melg is a great pull. I have no problems with that. Let me look at her kit real quick. Remove, uh, removing a random debuff, that's pretty good. Shield, continuous heals, and the revive. Dude, yeah. If we, if we were going to struggle... If we were going to struggle with Faction Wars, we no longer will because of Melga. Melga's going to make that really easy for us. We've got Mountain King for damage. We've got, a, we've got a good squad here. Dwarves is pretty much sorted once we get around to building them. I'll take 
like that. I'm not using it, but why not? Why not, you know? And Dwarves is open. Man, that's a shame. It's a shame. I almost, I almost want to run her a five-star real quick and throw some gear on her just to throw her in there. I bet you, I bet you we could make a little progress without really even focusing her hard. Where are we at right now? We're on 20, so we just need to come back and... Could I, could I three-star this boss now? I bet it's him. It's I bet it's him that goes down at the boss. He's also really good. He's a good little champ, too. Let's see if this is different now. I don't think I've tried this since... Have I even tried this since Mountain King? I'm not sure. I mean, Melga might even be able to do it at four star. We'll, we'll fully ascend her, put some gear on her, and leave her at four star. She might be able to do it. Buff it up. I forgot Mountain King could hit through that. I was like, well, how do you pull that off? Get off him. Get off him, dude. Got him. So far, so good. Obviously, the boss will be the problem. Dude, HP burn and freeze is so cool. This is the one where he revives. Okay. And I can't remember what the deal is with the... I feel like for some reason, if they're alive, he does more damage. I feel like that's a thing, but it doesn't say it anywhere. I feel like at this point, we just target the boss... No, we Because Tormund will slowly kill this one over time. Tormund's gonna. Tormund would have woken the boss up anyway with the AoE. Doesn't matter. We didn't have a choice. Didn't think about that. Tormund may have been the one to wake up the boss. I really wasn't looking. I think we're good, dude. As long as no one goes down here. GG. GG, baby. So we just gotta beat the boss now in dwarves and we're done. And that'll be three cleared. Shoot. I'm pretty sure I've tried it. There's no way they do it now. Poison, A we attack down. Man, if this if this was on a three turn cooldown, he would be he would be nutty then. We could put him on reflex. Disable his A2. Because rear guard's taking care of the attack down. Assuming we wanted to keep using him, you know? I 
she's not even booked. I don't think he is either. No. Foreman, I believe we did book, right? Yeah. Honestly, that squad is not so bad. Veer really is a solid little rare. I mean, Melga's better, certainly. HP lead. She's got that starter HP lead. She's She likes to read, though, bro. Holy cow, man. She does like to read. Man, it'd be nice if you could get lucky and just get these without having to do this. I don't I don't care so much about this. That gets down to three turns, that gets down to five. Man, she does like to read, but she's good. It's not, it's not that she's not worth the resources, it's just like, dang, bro. I don't even know how many books I have. I've only got four, yeah. It would be a minute. I kind of feel like Avir can do it, man. I kind of feel like a Veer could do it. We, we may just not use his A2 and put him in a reflex set. And then High Elves, we are pretty squared away on. It's not the fastest, but like... One of these two... I don't think Arbiter ever dies in these rounds. Uh, is that true? No, I think we failed one yesterday, actually. It can go south. But it seems like they win most of the time. I think I've only seen it fail once. And it's just because she's weirdly squishy. Actually, let me look at her too real quick. Why is she so squishy? Other five stars aren't, aren't don't seem like they're that squishy, but it seems like she's going down real quick. It seems like she's going down, down in an earlier round, you know? I wonder if it's that I've, I've gone defense and HP, and maybe someone's ignoring defense. I can't remember what enemies there are. Maybe someone's ignoring defense though, and that's why it seems like she's getting melted somewhere. She's not incredibly tanky as it is, to be honest. It's not I'm not I'm not under the impression she's a beefy tank or anything, but it like like let's see, she's got about what, seventeen hundred defense? We'll say twenty eight thousand HP. Look at Tayrell. He's got quite a bit more defense, but less HP. I mean, they both have like throwaway gear on them, honestly. Neither one of them are, are built. Did I ever book her even? Sort of. I am stoked about that Melga pool. That was good. I'm just glad it wasn't a dupe, man. Glad it wasn't a dupe. I wonder on this account if we'll ever get every champion in a faction. I think I've done that a few times on my main. I think there's a couple of factions that I have every champ. I wonder if we'll ever do that on this one. You know? I mean, we're talking about me being thousands of shards ahead on my main account. <laughs> you know, that's a, a, a it's a lot more summons to have gotten there. If you're free to play and you've done that, let me know. I'd be interested to know how many how many of y'all are completely free to play that have done that. This, this Hydra rotation is um, is interesting too, huh? I was hearing it was difficult. I tried to put in a key last night. Again, I just tried to auto, but... Auto and, and select which head I want to do attack, you know? That head of Wrath ain't playing games, dude. That head of Wrath is not 
playing games, dude. I almost ended the episode, but then I remember how many of you tell me you like the longer episodes on the weekend, so screw it, man. Let's just chill. Let's just chill. Get him out of here. What else we got? What else we got? I'm so ready. I'm so ready <laughs> to be on this vacation, dude. I'm so ready. Cannot wait, man. I am I am beat. We've just about got content done. I've got my little schedule up here. Why does this light keep getting brighter? I like these LED panel lights that I have, but randomly, this one, you guys may have seen it sometimes in a stream or something. It'll just raise itself to max brightness. And it's like the sun's coming up right here to my left. No idea why it does it. Anyway. I've got, I've got one more video to make for the second channel, which if you haven't checked out yet is linked below, and I think that you should check it out. And then I've got, I really only need to make five more videos for this channel to have one go up every day except Sunday, Sundays that I'm gone. But maybe I'll try to make a couple of... I, I think I can make a few free to succeeds in advance. I can't do it for every day because, like I said, it would just get... It would just be nothing relevant to talk about or going on. But I'll make a few. Maybe maybe I can... Maybe I can... Like, get the first week taken care of and then there's only one week without free to succeed. Maybe I'll do something like that. Then that, then that way I could have videos go up too. I could have two videos go up some days. Maybe we'll do that. See what I mean? It's not a fast run, but it doesn't have to be because we're done. We're done in here. I don't care how long they take, dude. I think we're going to build a husk or two as well. I've been slowly bringing up husks in the background because apparently husk is, is, a, is a monster for Hydra. So again, while we're not while we're not focusing Hydra right now, I'm like, I want to slowly be bringing things up that are going to be useful there. So that's what I'm doing. All right. One of these days I'm going to have to get in there and actually start playing around with the mechanics and, and learning it because I just haven't been right now. I'm familiar with some of it. I have, a, I have a pretty base level understanding of it. I have not gotten in there and tried to do anything. <laughs> I was going to one night uh, because Chamfort seems like he'd be good in there. So I was on the test server and I put a champ in around, I put a team in around Chamfort and started the run and then realized I wanted to change something, so I quit the run. But I misclicked on my way to free regroup, I misclicked and quit the run. So I stored a zero damage key and couldn't use those champions anymore for the week. And I was like, well, fuck it. <laughs> That's it. I'm done. I mean, he might be dead, but like, he'll be back. See? And there you go, now he's all healed up. I think I'm gonna want another cup of coffee. Which, I, I haven't had two cups of coffee. Ever. 
ever? Have I ever done it? I don't know if I've ever done it, but I think I want to today. We'll see how it goes. It's that raspberry chocolate lava cake, man. It's a good one. It's growing on me. I've got a video coming up later today uh, about, about chaos ore. Just explaining why it's bad, basically. I feel like maybe there's a lot of players that aren't exactly sure why so many of us think it's so bad. Maybe you're, maybe Raid's the only game you've, you've played or you're just not familiar with systems like that. So if that's interesting, that's an interesting concept to you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you what that system looks like when it's done right and talk about why Raid's is not good. And it's not a meme, it's not a joke, it's an actual, it's an actual video. I lost my perfect record yesterday in arena for the week, which is heartbreaking. And I think I lost twice. Lost once, then I took my cleave in and tried to cleave, but I wasn't fast enough, so I lost again. And then I went back in with my team and won. But they they, they, they left the exchange two for three, so that's an L. 58 and two, yep, heartbreaking. Heartbreaking. Although, if a boxer retired with that record, it'd be pretty phenomenal, huh? Do I have any chance of getting a silver this week? I don't think so. I mean, I probably could. My teams always surprise me when I come in here and I just hit hit play on every battle and just whatever happens, happens. They win way more than I would give them credit for, just at a glance. They always do better than I think they would do. But it, it just feels like lately I'm getting so many people in the 90s with with like like we'll get outsped and killed there for sure. Um, we'll get outsped here, and then that's Warlord, and that would, that would be a fight that would just take like you know what I mean. I'm looking at these, and it's like a lot of the I'm, a lot of these are higher level players with with teams. I just don't know that I want to bother dealing with. Right? They all have counters, and and perhaps I could think about it but like 3v3 is just I just don't care dude I don't have the interest arena it's a little bit different because it's just one fight but I wonder how long it takes us to kill this Chris I wonder how good he is <clears throat> I accidentally took uh, last week I accidentally took my cleave in to a solo Tormen and was like, oh crap, well, it's just one, it's just Torment, it's fine. He soloed my cleave team. We we could not <laughs> get a turn off. It hurt, it hurt to watch. Because I didn't want to end the battle because I was thinking, like, we'll recover. Eventually we'll we'll get out of this crowd control. And uh, and, and we only need to hit him a few times, then he'll come back frozen, and then Astraline can probably get him out of there. But could not do it. Could not get a turn. It hurt. <clears throat> Alright, Tormund. I need you to do Tormund things here because if Biggin starts popping off, we're in trouble. Did you notice he put the leech up on everybody too? RNG Pog. Ooh, that's a nasty. That's nasty right there. I wish I was recording this for the guide. I know he just proc'd a stun, but I've been kind of keeping an eye on him with this, with the uh, with the stuns. I'm thinking about working him off of the stun set he's on because I don't think he's proccing stuns enough. I mean, he's doing it now, of course. Of course he is. Why wouldn't he? Um, <clears throat> even still, I don't think he's proccing stuns enough to justify being on the stun set. So I'm thinking about putting him on 
something else. Maybe sneak in a savage set. I used to have. To is he still? Is he on stun? He, he has to be because he was stunning. I think I had him on relentless for a while. <clears throat> I may think about. <clears throat> Am I losing my voice? What's going on? I may think about sneaking him on a savage set. Maybe. Where's my savage gear? I've got plenty of it. Surely, surely there's a decent set in here for him. Could we do it now? Let's let's play around with it. Let's play around with it. I've got nothing else to do. I'll see what's equipped too. Maybe I'd steal some gear from someone for this. Not Rowan. Like Dark Elaine though. Speed. HP and crit rate. See, there's speed and accuracy. That's not bad. There's crit rate, accuracy, and speed. That's also not bad. Speed and accuracy, crit rate. We got lots of crit rate in our savage weapons. That's nice, dude. What do we got here? We got a, a, a beefy little crit rate bump here. So we'd have to replace a piece with, with a crit damage set. What do we got crit damage? Anything, anything he might find particularly tasty? Let's play around with it. Let's give him this crit rate. And then let's give him this speed and accuracy. Keep the accuracy up. A bit again. We don't we're not trying to we we're not trying to make him freeze everybody, but he could land a freeze occasionally, that would be dope. Or or, or, or I should say it, I need him to freeze the people that need to be frozen. And generally the people that need to be frozen. Don't have a ton of resistance. Does that make sense? Although if I could get enough on him to reliably land provokes, eh, I'm probably not gonna get that much on if I'm, if I'm trying to focus damage. I don't have that kind of gear just yet. Let's see, do we have any anything defense here? No, I think we're probably gonna leave that chest on him anyway. I think that's probably a pretty good chest that he's wearing there. So let's think about. Defense, okay. Maybe. How about crit damage boots? We got anything he might like? Attack, defense, speed with meh. Okay, so I think maybe we have to go boots. And I think I think perhaps we give him this. <coughs> <sighs> Let's see how these roll. What do we get here? Crit rate, crit damage. Okay, flat attack. Not is not crit rate or crit damage. Give me crit damage here. Just not resistance. How about that? Because I don't know why I feel like it's going to be resistance. Attack percentage again does us no good, but fine. It wasn't resistance, so I'll take what I take what I said I wanted. Now, as far as crit damage, we, we're going to need a shield or gloves. So let's narrow that down. Shield or gloves. Crit damage. We've got him on crit rate gloves right now. Not leaving him on crit rate. Do I have crit damage gloves in my savage set though? I do. Neither one of them have crit rate though. So it seems like. Man, could we roll double defense here? Could you do us a little bit of a favor? We'll max these out too, just to see what they do. Yes, we got one roll, I'll take it. Uh, double roll, let's go. Accuracy, I'll take that. Light attack, fine. Would've left some crit rate. I may have said I wanted crit damage. If I did, I meant crit rate. 
And I may have even said crit rate, crit damage. I don't remember. I don't remember, okay. Alright, shield. It's gotta be a crit damage shield. <clears throat> what do we got? We definitely want crit rate in the subs. <clears throat> There's a crit rate roll, crit rate and speed, HP and crit rate. Let's see what we get at 12. Crit damage. That this might be it. This might be the shield. Crit rate, HP, and defense. Crit rate, speed, and crit damage. <clears throat> Let's see where it puts us. I might. I'm just gonna go make another coffee real quick. And I'm probably not even gonna edit it out because I might not remember. Maybe I will. And defense, not bad. Not bad at all. So let's see what changed here. Our HP goes down slightly. Our defense goes up. Our speed stays the same. We lose a lot of crit rate. He'll crit about half the time, but with as much AoE and stuff as he's doing, that's fine. I can live with that, honestly. Crit damage went significantly up. We lost a lot of accuracy, though. We lost a lot of accuracy, which I can glyph up. It's not a big deal. He's wearing a crit damage amulet already. I would assume he's wearing an accuracy banner. Do we have any better ones for him though? How does this roll? Defense percentage would be pretty dope. Not, just not flat attack, yeah. That 18 speed is nice. We, I mean, could we, could we stand to lose six more speed? Man, I wish that would have been flat defense. I'm, I'm sorry, uh, defense percentage. Flat, the hell, I'd have taken. No, we already have flat defense. I was gonna say I would have taken flat defense over flat attack. I still think that we can glyph that accuracy up, and he will probably still come out with more accuracy than we started with. Why don't we, why don't we give this a shot? <clears throat> just, just see how we feel about it. Why not? Why not, you know? <clears throat> Hit him with a few accuracy glyphs just to, just to bump, bump it up a bit more. Like we'll glyph up the stuff we can. That seems important to him. Defense percentage, yeah. Lift that up. <clears throat> Alright, let's see what else we can hit him with. Speed and defense here. Um, I'll hit him with a, with a 2. Because I don't care that much about his speed. We are going to make sure he gets a 2, though. I'll tell you that much. I'll tell you that much, dude. I'll roll every one of these I got. Alright. <clears throat> and defense percentage... Uh, I'm not, I don't think I'm taking anything less than a three. There you go. What do we got here? Defense percentage and accuracy. Perfect. Defense percentage. Nothing less than a three. I hate the way it like slams it up like it's a good roll and then it's a one. I'm not leaving with anything less than a three. I'm not. I'm paying for yesterday, yesterday in stream, on my main account, I think it was my main account, yeah. I was rolling speed glyphs, and they were rolling really well. I think I'm paying for that today. The universe is balancing itself back out. <clears throat> and 
what do we got here on the ring? We got... No, we... We 100% have a better ring than that by now. All these rings? We've 100% got a better ring than that. Yeah, dude. There it is, right there. Bam, baby. Let's max that. Let's max this baby out. Tons more defense. Man, this cup is significantly hotter than the last one. <laughs> significantly. I'm gonna farm more spider today, so I'm not even bent up about it. We got so much silver, dude. We're rich. Rich in here. Give me that four. Bam, baby. That's good. And then here, I'll, I'll, I'll hit the flat defense, I reckon. Don't give me an eight. There you go. Okay, now we're at... Yeah, now we're kind of interesting. Now now we're looking interesting. 4,200 defense, 208 speed. He'll crit half the time. He should be laying out pretty good hits. And then we've got roughly... We're a little bit lower than we were on accur accuracy, but it's not a big deal. And as long as he's faster than... Or not faster than Iggy. Oh, he's not. Iggy is significantly faster. Perfect, dude. Let's, uh, let's give him a go. See what it looks like now. <clears throat> this might be fun. That red dot's gonna kill me, dude. It's gonna kill me. Not a good team for it. It's a risky one. Saris is always a risky one, but we'll give it a shot. here because <laughs> I think okay yeah no actually let's just auto see what happens <clears throat> I know he's gonna go down come back come back on his own now who did she bring back with her passive did anybody ever come back from her passive Gimbo hits so hard, dude. He's so good. We have a defense break, so we're not getting to see the damage output. <laughs> Ugh. That just goes down. That's a wrap. Has he used his skills or does someone here put him on cooldown and I don't know about it? The slows. Everything that could be going wrong in this fight for us is going wrong in this fight. Even if he's gonna get revived, we need to try to get him out of here, dude. He's a problem. I don't think we're gonna be able to, though. We, we tried, man. We tried to hang on. I'm gonna come back and do it again. I wanna see. We just gotta get a little bit luckier, I think, with the freezes. 
that's part of the fun of the team, you know. <clears throat> no dice again, bro. Man. Saved ourselves from that one at least. Now we got an HP burn up on him too. Really wish Ceres would have frozen herself there because now we can't put freezes up. Who do we want to... Um, I guess we can ignore his defense. I don't want to kill him. I want his... I want that to proc. There we go. Even with a defense break, we took him out. That's nice. Let's land some provokes, potentially. All right. Need to get the revive out of here. We get the revive out of here, we're in good shape. I just need Gimbo to not come back and do things he does, you know? Because that boy nasty. That boy nasty with it. Target Arbiter. Dead gum, bro. I hate Saris. I hate going against her. I love having her on my team. I hate going against her. <clears throat> we just cannot get Tormund without a defense break. I don't think I've got to see him lay one hit where he wasn't defense broken. Oh no. Oh no. We're gonna, what we're gonna end up in here is a situation where I'm not gonna move on though. If we don't win this, I'm not moving on. You understand me? Because this is exactly the kind of team this team's built for. We're not leaving without a win. We're not. I swear it's like she, is she on reflex? It's like she's constantly just using her AOEs. hooker oh Iggy I know I shouldn't be autoing but see what I mean didn't she just do that didn't she just hit us with that save this actually till she gets buffs up well Sirius is going to strip him anyway it doesn't matter but freezes yeah now we do this Some, somebody hit me with a relentless Saris the other day she froze herself but then procked out of it and still did her thing and if you think I wasn't tight about that the board. Good, good, good. No, 
now. I think that might be a wrap. I think that might finally be a wrap. Fun fight though. This this hooker right here, dude. <clears throat> There's a reason, I guess she's my favorite. But boy do I hate going against her. <clears throat> no shield for you. No shield for you. Maybe a little shield for you. Nice thing about long fights is you get to ref refresh your list with what feels like quicker. I don't want to deal with any of these, though. I damn sure ain't fighting another Ceres for a minute. I don't want to fight a Valkyrie either. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to fight any of them. We'll, uh, we'll keep an eye on Tormund, though, and see if we like what he's doing over time. Uh, man, that red dot, you know, it's almost going to be worth it just to take the XP boost, you know? I've got others in my in my thing. It's fine. It's not a big deal. Ooh. Well, I reckon we'll wrap this one up here. I feel like that's a pretty long... Oh, yeah, wow. It's a really long Saturday episode. Um, Let's get some spider started. And yeah, man, I appreciate you guys watching. If you're still here, drop a uh, <laughs> drop a hamster <laughs> hamster and latex gloves in the comments below. And I hope you have a good weekend. Good luck if you're doing any more summons. Thanks for being here for this crazy long Saturday episode. Later, guys.